Today's episode of Chicago Bears Now is presented by Aura, your all-in-one digital safety provider to keep you safe and secure online. Get going with the 14-day free trial at Aura.com slash chat sports. That is Aura.com slash chat, chat sports. Welcome in. Harrison Graham here. Updated cut candidates. No, I have not been drinking today, believe it or not. Uh, but we're going to take a look at 10 players that could get cut. And at the end of the video, I'm going to predict which players I think will get cut before Tuesday's cut down day as uh, the Bears have to trim from 85 down to 80 players this Tuesday at 3 o'clock central time before we get to some of those cut candidates which bears player in your opinion is a lock to get cut by tuesday i want to know from you guys in the comments which bears player is a lock to get cut by this tuesday go ahead and let me know all right, some cut candidates coming at you here. Running back Demontre Tuggle, who has actually looked all right in the preseason. He's just simply buried uh, on the Bears running back depth chart. He's behind David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert, Tristan Ebner, Darrington Evans. He's RB5. Maybe he survives this round of cuts and gets to play one more preseason game, but would not be surprised if we have seen the end of him. Kevin Shaw. Ugh, hasn't done much, has he, in training camp or in the preseason. Got some run late in that game against Seattle. Just has not really flashed up to this point. Don't think the Liberty wide receiver is here to stick around for much longer. Neither is Chris Fink, who did some things early on in training camp but has had no impact uh, during either of the two preseason games. There's too many other guys making plays at wide receiver. I think Kevin Shaw and Chris Fink just haven't shown enough, quite simply. And uh, you got to start trimming down players uh, as we get closer and closer to the big cut down day, which is 53. I wouldn't be surprised at all if both of these guys uh, were cut before Tuesday's 3 o'clock deadline. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That's what That way you will never miss a video here on Bears Now. Hit that big red button and then turn on that bell icon. As soon as we get the next round of roster cuts we'll have a video for you guys here on bears now so subscribe and join us for daily videos all right john delance who spent college ball at texas and florida and i'll be honest i still don't really know who the hell this is i know where he played his college ball i haven't heard his name once in training camp or in the preseason i don't even know if he has played in the preseason uh i could have looked it up but i'm just so confident that uh, we've seen the end of his run here in chicago like uh, this is the whole, you know, 90-man roster. You're always like, uh, you play that game with your friends, like, is this guy on the Bears? And, yeah, he is, but no one actually knows who the hell he is. I wish him the best, but uh, I don't think he's going to be here much longer. Julian Davenport, who the Bears signed, I think at one point, to be a swing tackle option. He has not played that well at all. I don't think he's going to make this team. I think he'll pro possibly, probably survive this round of cuts. But uh, as far as the 53-man goes, uh, I don't see there being a path for him him to making it. Now today's show, like we said, is sponsored by Aura and they offer tons of protection online, including financial fraud protection. Listen, your banking accounts are getting hacked left and right. I've had to go through that myself. I lost a couple of credit cards in the past, had to get those replaced. It's a pain to deal with it. Identity theft, millions and millions of people are having their IDs stolen every single year. Aura is going to protect and hover on the internet and make sure you're good to go. Family plans up to five people. Throw grandma on the plan. You know she's not, you know, past for protecting her Facebook account. Aura can help her out. Aura.com slash chat sports. Put the link in the, or the link is in the comments for you guys. Click it. Get a 14-day free trial. All right, five more cut candidates. Mike Pinnell, listen, one of the bigger names on this list, but... He's just simply been surpassed by a couple of other guys at that defensive tackle position. Trayvon Coley, who got, got signed a couple of weeks ago. Micah Dutredway, uh, who as an undrafted free agent has flashed. I think they've got real shots to make the roster. They're just ahead of Pinnell right now. I don't see a scenario where Pinnell makes this football team uh, at this point in time. Maybe he's a practice squad veteran guy. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but uh, I think he's too far down on the depth chart. Now, who is safer to make the 53, man? Is it Trayvon Coley? Type TC, or is it Micah Dude Treadway type MDT? Let us know who is safer to make this football team right now. All right, uh, John Alexander, who uh, 
bounced around college football, undrafted free agent this year, signed last week uh, as a depth guy. I think uh, the Bears knew that uh, Jaquan Brisker, a couple other guys weren't going to play in the secondary this week. Wouldn't surprise me at all uh, if he already got cut this Tuesday. Jalen Jones, who's actually gotten some starting nickel reps at times in camp because uh, some cornerbacks have been banged up like Tavon Young, Kendall Wilder, uh, and Thomas Graham Jr., but he just did not look very good the other night. Uh, I don't think he's going to make this football team. I think he could get cut right away. Bo Pete Keys, who played a lot the other night, actually had a couple pass breakups, but man, he was getting picked on. He is just not an NFL uh, caliber corner, maybe a practice squad candidate, but they both struggled against Seattle. I don't think uh, their futures are on this 53-man roster. They may not make it to the 80-man roster. And then Greg Stroman, who I do think will survive this round of cuts, but he's been a little quiet. I thought he'd maybe have more of an impact uh, in the secondary, but that has not proven to be the case. Uh, I don't expect him to make the 53-man roster for Chicago. All right, before I predict which five players will get cut this week, can I get a bear down in the comments? Use the emojis. Just type it if you don't have the emoji keyboard or just want to type in bear down in all caps. Get it going in the comments. I'll be reading them on today's show. All right, uh, here are my predictions. These are the five guys that get cut, in my opinion. Chris Fink, let's talk about him a little bit. Early in camp, Flashed a bit, even had a couple big plays, was in the mix as a punt returner. There's just better options there, and uh, he has not uh, delivered on game days. I don't even think he played against Seattle, uh, to be frank. He might have been nicked up. If he didn't play, he was uh, unnoticeable. Uh, Kevin Shaw, you know, undrafted free agent out of Liberty. I liked his college tape a little bit, but uh, he just has not shown – quite frankly, anything up to this point. Got some reps in camp because there's been a wide receiver injuries. Didn't take advantage of those, whereas guys like Isaiah Coulter did. That's why Coulter's got a chance to make this team. John Delance, again, you know, nice knowing you, even though we didn't really know you. I don't think he's going to make this team. In all seriousness, we wish all these guys the best, but um, yeah, it's just, it's not going to work out for him here, I don't think. Bo Pete Keys at corner. He got picked on, folks. Wouldn't surprise me at all if he got cut this week. Maybe he gets an extra preseason game, but uh, he's, he's fighting to uh, survive at this point. And then John Alexander, the defensive back who signed last week, I think they needed help uh, for this particular preseason game. I think there's a good chance he will actually get cut uh, as well. All right, which Bears player is a lock to get cut by Tuesday? Let us know in the comment section, and uh, we uh, will see what happens, and we'll hit you with the video as soon as it does drop down. Also, if you want more Bears updates, you can follow me on social media at HGram NFL on Instagram, at HGram NFL on Twitter. You can follow me on both of those platforms. We'll see you soon here on Bears Now. Bear down.